Welcome so much, everybody, to uh, to our happy hour. Um, a little earlier than than usual. I, I usually uh, don't really have happy hour until five o'clock, but uh, I'm sure it's five o'clock somewhere. Um, so um, we are really thrilled that you can you can join us. Um, we are here on this this uh, first uh, first slide. Uh, I assume uh, Darren, everybody can can see the first slide. It should be. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, would I be able to ask? Uh, um, I'm on my cell phone and I'm not able to see any slides. Would I be able to see them at a later time? Yes, we'll we'll certainly send them to you. We'll email okay, them to great. you. Okay, great. I appreciate it. So, uh, so yeah. Cheers, uh, cheers, cheers, everybody. Um, um, we are we are starting out with the uh, our our agenda and just uh, just very very briefly, um, I'll, I'll just introduce our uh, sort of two uh, main speakers today, um, and then I'll show you um, a little bit uh, uh, about our team and uh, tell you about who we are and what we do. Um, and we are certainly not here to sell anything, but we really wanted to take this opportunity to uh, stay in touch with everybody um, and. Um, uh, make sure that we um, kind of get ready for when when business reopens and uh, things uh, start getting back to normal. And with that, we wanted to share with you some information about the step grants that are available here in Illinois. Um, so, so that's really our, our main topic today. So, um, after I've introduced our our company, um, I will hand over the word to to, to Darren, and um, uh, Darren will talk about. Uh, uh, whatever he knows about the, the, the step grants. Um, so um, uh, here's a photo of me. Meta Peterson is my name. I am president and managing director of Kölmesse Incorporated. Um, we are the wholly owned uh, subsidiary of Kölmesse GmbH. Um, uh, our uh, parent company is in Cologne, Germany. Um, and um, that's where our uh, fairgrounds are located. Um, it's one of the, the largest fairgrounds in the world and we uh, organize uh, many different trade shows uh, on uh, on those uh, fairgrounds every year um, under, under normal circumstances and we cover a number of different industries so we felt that uh, we wanted to share with you information about step grants because it really covers all industries um, and uh, with that uh, all of the industries that, that we work on so um, uh, on, on the right hand side, you can see the, the photo of, of Darren. Darren is our director of business development um, here at uh, Kölmes Incorporated. Uh, right now, of course, um, we are all working from our home offices, but uh, our physical office here in Chicago um, is uh, close to O'Hare. And um, we've had our location here in Chicago for some 18 years. Um, and we really enjoy being here in the, in the Midwest. Um, uh, as, as we all know, it's a wonderful city. Um, it's it's uh, very centrally located and uh, it really serves all the industry industries that, that we work on as well. So Darren, I think we had a had a team slide as well. Did we miss that? Or did you want to go straight to the building? Nope, there, it is. Uh, nope, there we I'm go. Yes. So I, I just want to share with you our, our team here in uh, in Chicago. Uh, there are uh, approximately 10 of us. Um, and um, uh, here you see us listed. I'm not going to go into a, a lot of detail. We can, we'll be sending you the information so you can, you can go through it in, in detail and you'll know who to potentially contact if you, if you don't know us already. Um, but um, we handle, we are basically the sales and marketing arm of, of the Cologne, of Cologne International Trade Fairs. And with that, we can assist um, all um, exporters um, who are interested in utilizing our trade shows um, to, uh, to expand their inter international business. Um, about 80% of our trade shows take place in Cologne um, and another 20% um, elsewhere around the world. Um, we also organize shows in, uh, in Dubai, in China, Singapore, uh, South America, uh, both Colombia and Brazil, um, India and so on. So, so we, we uh, uh, cover pretty much the, the entire globe. Um, so, so here is, is our team. Um, uh, most of them have been uh, with us for a long time, luckily. Um, so, so we are a pretty uh, a seasoned and, uh, and well-trained team. And uh, we are obviously very happy to assist you with, uh, with any questions you, you may have um, afterwards. So yes, with, with that, let's uh, just show a slide of, of the convention center in Cologne. Um, 
uh, which we, we work for. Um, as I mentioned, one of the, uh, the world's largest convention centers, we cover about 14 exhibit halls. Um, you will here only see 11, but that's because several buildings have uh, several uh, floors. Um, and I think we usually say that we cover, the exhibition grounds cover uh, close to um, uh, five uh, football fields. So it's, it's a pretty big area. Of course, not all of our trade shows cover the entire footprint, uh, but we do have some, some large events, especially in the food industry, um, in, in, in dental, in furniture, um, in uh, video games uh, that, that occupy pretty much the entire fairgrounds. So, so that's uh, just a, a brief overview of um, who we are and we'll certainly be opening up to questions um, afterwards. And with that, uh, let me hand the word over to, to Darren. Thank you very much, Mata. I appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone, if you, haven't, if you don't have a beverage with you, glass of water or beer, take something. At least let's try to be a little happy this afternoon. It's towards the end of our work day. It's almost Friday. It's Passover for some people. It's mm -hmm. Greek Easter on Friday. It's regular Easter, or regular Easter, Easter this Sunday, Good Friday. So there's plenty of things for people to celebrate, even if you have to do it virtually online. I do hope everyone gets a chance to kind of connect with their friends and family and, in, and enjoy this time that we, we have found ourselves in. Um, I am gonna speak a little bit about step grants and then I did try to unmute everyone and a number of people I see that you have your microphones off, so thank you because maybe you're in noisy places. For folks that have their microphones open or whoever wants to speak, just like I guess a quick sound, I mean, we have a number of different industries here. Does anybody wanna speak and talk a little bit about their experiences either with trade shows, coming to Cologne Mesa? Um, you know, if you wanna maybe do a raise of hands, I can kind of count them as you can use the app to say, how many people have physically been to Cologne Mesa? I'm just, I'll kind of keep quiet for a moment and hear how many voices chime in here. How many people have come to have been there? Oh, the silence is deafening. This is wonderful. And it's even more <laughs> sad because all of those representatives, as we said, my colleagues who are who met the hat on the slide, they're on this call and they didn't even speak up. And I know for a fact they've all been to Cologne Mesa. I wasn't so, sure we're raising our hand by clicking on the hand. One or the I other. We're actually speaking up. Anything, just we want voices. There we go. So now I got some hands coming in. I see one, two, three, four. I got about four, five, six different, seven different people as their hands are slowly being raised. Well, thank you. It's the um, best trade show expo anywhere. And who, which voice was that, please? Was that Donna? Yeah. That's I love nice, like Donna. Yeah. It's my favorite expo <laughs> hall, hall in the entire world. Oh, we, we appreciate those kind words. What makes, if you don't mind, just says, what makes it different for you? Why? Why should people care or like what Columbus does in general, regardless if it's a NUGA for our food shows, or and we know we have a number of people on our call here today that are more in the dental industry, right? Yes, what's so unique that makes coming to Columbus an experience? Well, I mean, I think Cologne as a city is absolutely so quaint and beautiful and there's so much tr tradition there, but there's also so much modern architecture as well. But what I like about the convention hall is how there is a lot of outdoor space. So whereas sometimes like a McCormick place where you feel like you're inside all day and, and you haven't seen any daylight, at Cologne Messe there are um, outdoor places to sit between the halls and just get some fresh air and, uh, and, and sit down and have a coffee outside instead of being inside in a crowded cafeteria. Hmm. I would agree with the one nice thing being in Thank Europe, you, they do like their lunches. They do like to take time out, have a coffee and that we actually have the facilities to enable people connecting that you don't, everything doesn't have to take place in a booth that people do sit over a cup of coffee and conduct business. And we have those facilities where quite often North American trade shows, it's people eating on top of garbage cans, sitting on the floor in an aisle way, just eating and walking, just trying to find a way to, to kind of get by. Anyone else want to comment? Well, maybe if, if, if I, I may just add, and I don't want to be doing all the talking, um, but one of the things that, that, that I personally like when, whenever I, I do go to the Cologne trade fairs is to, is since you were talking about food, Darren, uh, that there's a, they actually offer all kinds of ethnic food. It, it's not just uh, one type. You can really get almost anything under the sun, even right at the fairgrounds, which I, I think is pretty cool. Yep. 
Absolutely. Um, well, I'm going to come back and ask some more generic questions about what people think about either trade shows in general, what makes Cologne Mesa trade shows unique. Um, we're also going to have an opportunity as I go through things, we're going to kind of quickly give a high gloss overview to what I understand step grants. We do have a representative or two on the phone or on the meeting with us. So if you do want to speak up at any point, do let me know or just kind of raise your hand or just start talking over and I'll stop speaking. And we want to encourage people to at least understand that these things are out there. We know in the news today with our global issues that are going on with what's going on in Congress with some of these stimulus packages now and more yet to come. Those are all kind of separate things that are available for businesses and we're not really trying to address those types of topics. The size step grant is something that has been around. I honestly don't know how long I'm going to say at least five, if not 10 years. And I find that most of my clients that I work with in my different industries, half of them never heard of it, never realized about it. And then they also don't realize how I say easy it is to access. And I'm talking generically across all states. So today we're really looking at Illinois because that's who's, who we invited to this call. But in some states like Tennessee, it took one of my clients, one phone call, a one page form, and it received $5,000 in funding to come to our equestrian show. So it can be that easy. And he, by doing that, he has now grown his business and is now doing additional sales. The general concept of what, an, what they call I-STEPs or the state trade export programs, as just about every single state in the nation has them or some, some format of it. It is to help you grow through exports. There are rules, there are requirements. You have to have offices here in the state of Illinois to access Illinois step grants. The goal is for you to increase the jobs within the state of Illinois. So if you grow your sales and grow exports, you're going to add manufacturing jobs, accounting jobs, sales jobs, warehouse jobs, shipping jobs. All of that translates to more economic value for us here at home. What I brought up on the screen is, is the program is made up of different components of it. Oh, I got to hide something so I can even see it myself. Is this one here, this, the individual, what they call individual foreign market missions that you can submit a request for within and work with state representatives on how the process goes through, how you work through the process. But as you can see that I have on the screen, um, up to $7,500 towards your reimbursement for going on a trip to go visit and expand your travel, expand your business overseas, accessing things called the Gold Key Program that comes from the Department of Commerce and they activate by country. They actually will help you do set up meetings, reach out to people, um, get market intelligence. There's a whole suite of services that come bundled with that rather subsidized program is the best way I, I look at it. Um, as you can see, it's, it can be used towards travel. It can be used towards a number of different things and it is a matching program from the state. And there is a similar component that goes towards helping you taking, you can spend it towards trade show booths. So you can use it towards your exhibit expense, your marketing expense, as in localizing your website for a particular language, creating flyers or marketing materials for those particular flyers. Um, what I would ask, I'm gonna stop here for a moment for the people that are on the call. How many of you have actually accessed this program before? Does anyone wanna speak up that maybe has tried it? I don't see any raise of hands here. How many of you either raising hands or speaking up have ever heard of this program before our email today or, or coming and joining us? Okay. Well, I can tell you I've, heard, I've heard of it and that's about it. That's why I was so interested in be, being part of this today. And if you would, can you um, just so we know who is speaking because I think you're the person who's calling from a cell phone. It doesn't show me names. Who are you, your company and and what kind of uh, my name is my name is Tom Drabic and I'm with uh, Latini Holberger Demontic. We are in the uh, uh, confectionery machinery uh, industry. Okay, wonderful. So basically, our, our machines make candy. We like you then. I like candy. <laughs> My kids, thank you. <laughs> we try to be sweet. Yeah. There we go. Bit of, bit of boom. <laughs> yep. So yeah, your um, your sales representative Kate Freeman is on the call today with us. And yeah, these types of pro is there something specific that maybe you'd heard of that you want us to address or that even as I said, we have a state representative who can speak in here of either maybe why haven't you 
tried it already or is it just maybe is it a lack of time or uh well i think the biggest reason that we haven't tried it is the um just the way our co- it, it's too long of a story but the way our company was we were sort of spinning uh and not doing anything but now we're trying to expand um, um and because of, uh, some of our lines of equipment are over 90 years old and it's like we decided hey we, we you know we got to get this out there to like uh different markets like we're really trying to concentrate on um uh south and central america and so when we saw these uh these grants uh i thought this should be some this would be something i should be a uh, part of great um thank you for uh, sharing that anyone else um have an experience with it or why they maybe haven't or questions No, nope, I, I guess I'll take that silence there. As uh, no one, no other comments on it. As you can see, we kind of copied these rules from um, from the state's website. At the end, in the back of this presentation, you'll get links to where we acquired this information. So it's kind of easy to find the different links that you do have in the presentation. One to the Illinois site, where they specifically go over the program, program dates, key contacts for the program. Um, and the actual application form to get access to it. Um, there's another link to the U.S. Department of Commerce's uh, U.S. Commercial Services, that's their overseas export arm. They're the ones who help with that gold key program that do that actual outreach for you by, by country. Uh, they have different trade representatives to help you target and focus in each country. And then a link to, some, to our Colomesa website, specifically to our event calendar as you're looking across industries. So you can kind of sort by industry segment, you can sort by continent, um, you can look at the different segments because when it comes to food, food manufacturing, those two categories are probably some of the, the larger strengths that Colomesa has as an organization. And between the two of them, we must do, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna say about 15 or 20 shows annually between candy, canyon manufacturing, mm. food manufacturing, gourmet foods, finished foods, the whole, the whole gamut. Yeah, that, that's true, Darren, that, that, uh, that's a pretty, pretty fair number. Um, any other um, one, anybody else want to speak up for what industry they're in? Okay, if I, whether showing, raise a hand through, uh, through the app or speaking up, how many of you have actually gone to, uh, as a company to an overseas event to try to sell it, to demonstrate and showcase your product via trade shows? There we go, got that, a couple of hands coming up. Some of our folks in the dental industry, I could see them coming here. Um, one another topic that I often hear, and um, he's also on the phone as well, we have a representative from UPS, um, because they've, uh, they've started to offer new programs this year. The number one problem I tend to find with my clients is people say, great, Darren, I go to your trade show, I use this step grant, I get money, I come overseas, and I don't know how to ship. And I don't, and I can't ship there. Or how am I going to sell a box? Or how do I sell my, you know, how am I going to get my product to the customer because freight's too prohibitive, it's too expensive, or, you know, I, my stuff's small. Uh, I, I handle yarn and knitting, and they say, look, my, you know, I could fit a whole lot of yarn in a box, and I, you know, the, the tariffs and the duties and the shipping all kill me in this process. Um, is my friend from uh, UPS on the line? Actually, what he was walking through with me earlier in the day is, I mean, UPS, we all familiar with it. I bet you everyone on this call has worked. Well, obviously we all get boxes from UPS personally, but it probably uses it in some part of their business. He did provide this very extensive PowerPoint that I'm not gonna really walk through too much. Um, but what the key things really that they offer was the two, what I thought was interesting is that you have the ability to utilize ocean freight and this kind of what they call consolidation service on the outbound where for a very reasonable price, you can palletize your product that's everything going to Germany, ship it out once, clear its custom as one big lot instead of individual boxes, and then UPS breaks it down and sends it off to each of your individual stores for those kinds of, for when you're shipping directly to stores. Um, it can, and they can handle all the way up that if you are shipping in quantities that require full pallets that go to distributors, 
But the biggest thing that I found is that they have these programs now to enable much smaller packages to clear it together. I've got a, one of my yarn and crafting clients in Ohio. They've set up a program with UPS that they consolidate all the orders Thursday from starting Monday afternoon all the way to the next Monday and it ships out every Monday. So any client that orders in Europe, every Monday the, the pallet goes and then they have flat rate shipping that they can do those to those clients. They know how much can fit in a box and it goes out once a week to those clients in Europe. And they're doing some type, some sort of flat rate shipping like $7 a box, something really ridiculously cheap and they're shipping directly to stores. Um, they are there. What the, this company is actually a, dis, a distribution company. Yeah, that's that's really neat. Anyone, I guess, have I guess as we go through, as we think about this, and part of the idea of a happy hour, anybody want to talk and say something about either how's it going for them, how are you staying in touch with your clients, anything you want to kind of share, or maybe ask the question saying what are you doing that maybe you can learn from other folks on this call. <coughs> hello, hello, Darren, could you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, Ivona Boczenska, State of Illinois, Office of Trade and Investment. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Specialized in yeah. Europe and uh, our company, um, the State of Illinois Office, which is government agency, I have to say, is actively working with numerous companies across the State of Illinois. And what we do, we specialize, Darren did a very good job showing um, some aspects of our ISTEP grant, but it is important for you to remember that um, we specialize in individual client assistance and group trade mission. We organize a number of events globally. In Europe, uh, I have between three or four STEP missions uh, per year and uh, mainly we specialize in medical equipment trade shows. So we do Medica for a number of years. In Germany, Düsseldorf, so we work very closely with Messe Düsseldorf, which is equally good as uh, uh, Messe, <coughs> Köln Messe. So uh, wonderful uh, organizations to work with, well-organized operations. Uh, so we have very good working relations with trade show organizers. Also Hanover Messe, uh, we used to do a number of events there, um, Hanover Messe being the largest one. Uh, but let's say uh, as a company, you receive our program, yes, uh, the list of trade shows, what we are planning on doing, and uh, you represent completely different industry sector. Let's say I specialize in high tech, uh, high technologies, uh, earth, um, uh, you know, uh, we do peripheral shows, so airspace, um, all kinds of um, uh, high uh, technology uh, firms are working with us. But the gentleman who spoke a few minutes ago um, uh, represent uh, candy industry, for example. And we have some trade shows in Canada uh, that are quite active. And um, uh, we have an office in uh, Canada as well. So we can gladly and efficiently assist uh, your company. Uh, so uh, I would like to encourage you to utilize, to use the ISTA program. This is wonderful program. When you are a company who is new to export, you can lower your risk of entering foreign markets uh, because, uh, um, you know, what we offer is quite helpful. It prepares companies really, really well to participate in foreign trade or trade mission, trade show, trade mission. And we do a lot of groundwork for you. So if you travel with us as a part of our group, of course, uh, we have a chance to help you and assist you every step of the way. But let's say if you are a more seasoned exporter and you want to enter new market and we don't offer any trade shows, group trade shows in this particular market, still we can assist you and we can assist you up to 7,500 US dollars in reimbursement. Our application is a little bit longer um, this is 16 page application, but don't get discouraged. This application is very good and helps us to make sure that the company qualifies for our program. And Darren, this is important for companies to know 
that the company has to be small business, so can't employ more than 500 employees to qualify for our program. And also, which is quite important, the company has to be in business, preferably for a couple of years and have actual revenue. Uh, other than that, um, you, we are quite flexible in terms of uh, number of employees or industry sector. Thank can, you. I ask, uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, being that I'm not online and I can't see this, and I know um, somebody had told me I'll be getting uh, the, the email, the information will be emailed to me, uh, but you, you brought up, uh, you know, Canada, for example, and I'm very interested in that. So that will be part of the, I'll receive the email that will help me. Um, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in what you said, and uh, I don't mind filling out 16 pages if I have to. Um, so, but I, I just need to know that I can get that information because I'm, I'm away from, actually I'm away from home right now, um, nowhere unsafe, but uh, I'm not, I don't have access to a computer. Yeah. So let me, let me answer your question. I'm going to just give all of you my cell phone number. I, I am remote. I'm working from home. And it will be my pleasure to talk to you on an individual basis, answer some questions, and also put you in touch with our foreign offices or trade specialists based in Chicago who can assist you locally and globally, depending on uh, geographic location, because how, how we work, our office, um, uh, trade specialists, uh, we specialize in different geographical markets. So I am responsible for Europe. I have a colleague covering South America, another one covers Asia. So uh, it helps us, um, of course, because uh, uh, we speak numerous foreign languages, which is good as well. And also every one of us specializes in few industry sectors that are the most important industry sectors in our region. So I'm gonna simply give you my cell phone feel free to reach out to me and this way we can have more detailed conversation and I'm going to make sure that you don't have to spend hours going through various web pages, websites. I can do the assessment and put you in touch with whoever I have to uh, put you in touch with. So my number is 312-519-4982. Three one two five one nine four nine eight one. That's my direct line. My na my name is Ivona I W O N A. Of course, uh, when you call me, I can uh, send you a text with my email address and some other information as well. Okay, um, that's that's the easiest way probably since mm -hmm. uh, you don't have access to the computer right now. So. Just uh, this number uh, that you wrote it down is enough and we can start the process of helping your company. Okay, okay. thank you. And then- Ivona, um, uh, Ivona I, I have, a, I have a, a question just out of curiosity. Um, can, yeah. can somebody, can a company apply for, for the um, ISTEP grants several years in a row or, or does it only apply yes. one year? No, 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 no. Uh, the beauty of it is that the company can participate uh, two or three times per year uh, with our office. So let's say it could be two different trade shows that they do. Uh, one could be uh, with you guys with uh, Köln Messe. The other one can be somewhere else in Asia. Um, yeah, for example, uh, it depends because all the trade shows you do are quite global trade show as well. The international trade show location is European, you know, but the trade shows are very international in scope. And, and then, and then, um, yeah, like two events per year could be two trade shows, or it could be a combination of group trade show and individual uh, trade missions. So, uh, but um, the company can uh, work with us for a number of years, and the level of reimbursement depends on it. Let's say if company participates three years in a row and they are minority owned company, then the reimbursement rate is up to 75% in terms of travel, meaning hotel, plan. Yes, so this is quite generous. Um, if the company doesn't meet that status, 
it will be 50% reimbursement. After three years of working together, the company is uh, going to receive 25% reimbursement for travel expenses, but still, if they, um, let's say, participate in group trade mission, the exhibition space will be complementary at no charge to them. And uh, the reimbursement level for group trade missions is up to 5,000 and individual trade missions 7,500 because then it will be reimbursement in terms of travel expenses, part of it, and also reimbursement for space, exhibition space. Yes, when the company uh, make a move on their own and they purchase exhibition space, then um, we're going to reimburse them uh, for part of it as well, up to 7,500. You know, I've seen so many companies um, uh, benefiting from this program. So I would like to encourage all of you to uh, get involved. Uh, I would say this is a great way of entering foreign markets to lower your exposure in terms of, you know, financial exposure. Sometimes companies aren't sure they're working on their exporting strategy. They want to make sure that this is the right direction to go. They want to make, they want to gain market intelligence and see, uh, you know, what other companies are doing. So this, it works, it works. And, um, uh, you know, we also collect post-program survey from companies. And then every year as for up to three years, we do some follow-ups. So I see really impressive results. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to generate um, some sales, but uh, uh, I've seen many success stories. So that's what keeps us going, you know. This is wonderful to see that, that uh, a company who operate uh, in domestic markets, uh, let's say, and uh, foreign markets are barely 5% or 10% of company revenue. After entering foreign markets, you're going to see this number growing. And, uh, and of course, all of us are happy because this is about job creation, job retention. This is about, you know, keeping Illinois firms vibrant. And uh, yes, it, is, it sounds good um, to all of us uh, to really, uh, whenever we say the word vibrant, especially now, you know, in this lockdown time, but uh, it will pass and uh, we're going to enter the markets and uh, we're going to need all hands on board, you know, companies, trade show organizers, everybody working well, I, together. If I can ask you an additional question. When you say year, is it based on a calendar year or is it reset each October? And then is there a timeline that you can share with these companies? I've seen some states yes. have very specific dates, like there's a first batch by this date, then they reopen it again after another date. Yeah, then what we do, so we, uh, we have uh, state fiscal year and we have federal fiscal year. There is a difference. So our new programs, they always start July 1st, from July 1st uh, uh, till, till the last day of June. In terms of uh, um, federal fiscal year, it starts in October, October 1st yes and goes till the last day of september so yeah we try to assist as many companies as possible uh we want to utilize every dollar that we have we don't want to return money back to sba um, because this is a combination of funding some state funds uh, goes into our programs and some funding is from small business administration uh, so uh, this year we're going to have two-year allocation, so which gives us greater flexibility. Thank you. Great, that was that was really terrific input. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Ivona. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else have anything else they want to share? Ask uh, before we kind of close things up. Uh, it's been about 40 minutes, so we didn't want to take too much time this afternoon from everyone. From everyone. Uh, uh, but we appreciate you all joining us. Um, so one more round. Is there anyone else that has additional questions or comments they want to kind of float out there? Just Darren um, uh, and Matt, I, I, I want to I wanna just say thank you guys. You do a great job. And uh, uh, some other trade show organizers, they promote ISEP program as well. 
which is very, very helpful. Uh, we are um, willing to work with trade show organizers to benefit our Illinois businesses. That's our goal. So uh, all people online, I would like to encourage you to give me a call and uh, just, to, just to work together and start uh, this global expansion, you know, step by step to increase our exports and, uh, and hire more people. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you again. We appreciate you sharing that information with us and we look forward to hopefully welcoming you to Colomesa next year as we do our food and medical industry, dental events as it, there are quite a number of those suppliers from this region. Uh, so hopefully I'm we looking can forward continue to our collaboration you. with you. Absolutely, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I, I, I'm glad I took the time to do this. Thank you for appreciate joining us. It, everyone. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for joining us, everybody.